Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is Video True Nerd, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas with Dust. And we have made it here, close by to Prim, which is uh, admittedly slightly full of cannibals, quite a lot of cannibals. But I think we made some good steps last week. We did some good stuff there. We managed to cook ourselves some food. We found ourselves our first big supply of water, and this makes me hopeful. I mean, okay. This water is irradiated, but only as much as normal dirty water. So, if this is still here, other sorts of water may be here as well. There might be Lake Mead, there might be Lake Las Vegas, right by Camp Golf. There might be, I think there's some water up by Jacobstown, if I recall correctly. So, there might be some sources of water we can actually utilise. Okay, so, we should probably go and check those out at the same time. So... First thing I need to do today, have a little loopsy around this part of the world, because there's Prim over there. I need to, well, if I can, I'd like to sneak into Prim. You see, Prim's full of cannibals, but most of them are gathered around the roller coaster and the casino. I'm wondering if I can maybe sneak in the back way up the ramp over here and see if I can explore the houses that are dotted around on this edge of Prim, because, ah... I didn't even know there was actually a gap right here. Well, that's even more bloody convenient. Also, I need to start just, like, using up some of these guns and then tossing them away. I've got way too many flipping guns. So, plan. This thing is not exactly very powerful, and I don't exactly have the energy requirements to use it. So, makeshift laser revolver. My plan is, uh, use this thing up and then just toss it away. Now, how many people are down this end of Prim? So if I can just clear out, say, one or two cannibals and then loot the houses, that'd be flipping magnificent. Where are you, you bastards? I know there's at least one round here because... Oh, maybe there's not. Because this is before the whole thing becomes railings. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, I see ya. I see you over there. Oh. You're surprisingly tough. Ah, but, thing we know about these guys, badly armed. You have got yourself a makeshift incinerator, and you've got yourself a nail board. Right, why don't you guys just come round over here around the corner? Let's just make sure there's nothing around this side. No, and now that we're nice and close to you, a couple of... Okay, closer. Closer. That's close enough for me to not flipping miss. Now, how many shots is this going to take? Several, apparently. Right, so, go, 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 and more, and, oh dear. Well, this thing is a little bit more useless than I was expecting. Right, okay. Let's just go for... Okay, let's maybe just toss that away. That didn't go so well, and block, head, 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 and everyone's on fire now. Oh dear. And now you've got a scythe, and now you're setting me on. This could have gone better, to be honest. Yes. He literally flamethrowed my head off. Okay. Better plan. Use the varmint rifle to maybe snipe off the person who's got the gun. It's only an incinerator, but still, it's not nothing. Head around here. Where's the person with the... You're the person with the nail board. You're fine if a little bit tougher than I'd reasonably expect. And then, you over there. And where are you? Boom. Not sure if I just got you or not, but okay. Now we've got ourselves a handful of people. Oh, hang on. Right, just, uh, you're a bit close to be... Okay, that actually worked quite well. Beautiful. And one more, please. And go. And anytime you... Ready! There we go. So that's one of them dead, and one of them badly wounded. I'm also on fire, by the way. But at this point, one shot should finish you off. Down you go. I'm on fire. Now, where are the rest of them? Is anyone else coming out of the town? I'm officially still in danger. So let's just use third person. To ah! <laughs> okay. You just uh, spooked me a little bit there, I'll give you. Right, we'll now just basically shoot you in the face a little bit. And you're actually deciding to go unarmed, which is ballsy of you. Because I thought you were the guy with the uh, 
you know, flipping, oh, no, machete please, go to the, thank you, right, block, go, 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 and, oh, block, and, power attack, and that will stagger you for the time being, block, power attack, and one more hit, down he goes, hit him, good, now, were you actually the person who had, ooh, Armoured leather robes. Right, well that explains a little bit there. Makeshift incinerator. 10.9 times 3 with a DPS of 400. Well, that is quite a lot. Yes. Right, makeshift laser revolver. Dump that with him. This thing. Take it with me. And if I run into anyone else, just basically use this on them. That'll be fine. Don't take that, however. It weighs 8. That's too much for... Well, damage threshold of 9. Damage threshold of 9 is actually pretty sweet. I've got... Uh, yeah, hang on. Damage threshold of 6 for weight 3. But that's with endurance. No, stay with the duster for now. Stay with the duster for now, but... This could all be of interest. And I think that was a sensible enough... Well, actually, 11... Yeah, go on, fine. I'm willing to switch over for 11 when I can actually repair this as well. Two dog steaks need to be eaten anyway. Gets the weight down a bit. Repair this with this. Life is good. Nice. So, up to damage threshold of 12. That's... That's decent right there. Although, weirdly, it should actually be... Should be 13. 12 plus 1, but whatever game. You do maths however you want. Now, this makeshift incinerator, I'm going to be wanting to use this, then throw it away as soon as possible. So, best thing I can probably do is just use it right now. Makeshift scythe, mutated skull, seeker armor. Okay, also weighs eight, but no one near as good, so leave that be. Now, the scythe, I believe I could break down into... Hang on, I could use that with my kit, couldn't I? What does that break down to? Here we go, that breaks down to a crutch, which can also be broken down to... Cloth strips and wood. So that's basically a free bandage. Oh, go on then. Sure, why not? So, salvage the scythe. Alright, back to the kit. Salvage the crutch I just got out of that. And then, if I go back into the kit again, now I can... Oh, I need one more cloth strip to make that. Fine, no matter. Now, if I've got this right, that should be those three people cleared out of here. Now, the rest of the cannibals do not seem to know I'm here. And that leaves me with these houses to loot. And houses are a valuable source of medicine, water, all sorts. Looks like we've got ourselves probably four total. And if I can just stay out of sight of that guy, hopefully, no trouble. Unless, of course, people... People do live here! People live here! People definitely live here! Oh, but that does a lot of damage over time to you. That does a lot of good damage over time. You still... Oh! Hello, you're still there. And now you're not on fire. So we'll just quickly put a bullet in you. Right. So that thing is inaccurate, but does some good damage over time. Now, what can I get from you? Oh, is that beer? I will have some beer. Thank you very, very much indeed. Uh, bottle caps, grunt, can definitely do without that. Fine. Bunk beds. Just have a quick search around here. See what I can find. In particular, what do you have on you? Makeshift pistol. Very, very weak, though. No, not even worth bothering with that. Is this a... Yeah, so toilets you can drink out of. So if you're desperate for water, there are toilets. Just, you know, be aware they're very radioactive. Now, most importantly, kitchen. We've got ourselves... Ooh, strange casserole. All right, well, this is nice. These people aren't just making strange meat pies. They're branching out a little bit, making strange meat all sorts. Any chance of some booze, by the way? No, just more strange meat pie. Honestly, I can probably do without that. I do not want to dive into cannibalism too early on in my adventure. We'll save that for later. Now, keep your distance. I know there's another person who's patrolling on that side. Yeah, I've got four houses total if I want to go into all of them. Oh, straight in here. And... All right. Looks like there's no one in this house. Fine, this is... Ah! This might just be where they, like, leave people to die or something, given the corpse there. But be ready. No. Okay. This one. Bit of a nothing house there. 
Keep on keeping on in that case. Okay, I see you over there. Varmint rifle. Now, are you going my way or not? No, you're walking away from me. Uh, I'm not sure whether I can make that shot. The hitbox on the car might stop me doing it. Alright, I'm just going to go over here. If I just pull that one guy over, that's not the worst thing in the world. Let's just wait for him to do his rounds. I think he's just going backwards and forwards. If he is, then I should just be able to basically get in here now. I'm good. And oh dear, no, 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 Right, someone did live in this one. 86% chance to hit though. Boom. Oh, someone else lives in here too. Someone else lives in here too. And this person is is tougher. Right, put one bullet in your head. And then, and just in time for, and I'm just being torn apart. I think there's multiple people in here. There are, yeah. Okay, let's, let's try this one again. Now remember those throwing spears I picked up? What if I just put one into you, one into you, and then you, who I think is, oh yeah, so throwing spear, you missed a 95% chance to hit there. Throwing spear number two, missed a 95% chance to hit there. Throwing spear number three, took down one of them, then the camera ends up in the wall. I think this could work. Especially as this woman's now trying to beat me up with an invisible weapon. Right, number one, number two, yeah, then they start getting tougher. Because they're actually wearing some decent armor. Let's see if we can just take you out with bullets. And then probably number three, I want to try and take out with a machete. Boom. And just block. Right, come at me, come at me, come at me, come at me, come at me. And then go, go, go. And then, right, go for the power attack. Block, block, block. And then... Are you a woman? Because you don't look like it, but okay. And you know what? While you've got action points, you may as well actually use them. Because action points are basically free unblockable damage. That's an arm crippled. And one more. In fact, actually, I think you've lost your weapon. And there you go. You... I've lost my weapon too. <laughs> well, this has just ended badly for everyone. Get out the shovel. Go. Shovel him. Right. Go. 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 Shovel to death. Beautiful. Molotov cocktail. Understand why you wouldn't want to use that. Oh, yeah. Some of these guys have... Oh, is that noodles? I love noodles. Steal some noodles and dirty water. You know what? Quite frankly, it's worth it. No, it's not. There's literally a giant pool of water outside. The only reason to come in here is for good quality equipment. But I'm actually losing ammunition at this point. So uh, this is probably a bad idea. But worth keeping in mind, we've got ourselves... What else have we got? That's a hunter's duster... Put one of them aside. Ah, iguana bits. Now, I'm aware according to the law of Fallout 1. Ooh, cosmic knife. Well, I think we've just made it worthwhile. Plus, homemade throwables. Good, like homemade throwables. And strange pie, strange meat pie. Now, cosmic knife. Cosmic knife is... Okay, seriously, Vision, just chill out for a second, please. Thank you. Cosmic Knife, I think you blend with a Braxo Cleaner to make, yeah, a special version of the Cosmic Knife. So, that can now replace the machete, which is just broken, so screw that. And a Sunset Sarsaparilla as well. Very welcome. And some whiskey. We got whiskey down here too. Everyone loves whiskey. And ammo. Ammo, 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 ammo. 9mm rounds, 9mm pistol. Alright, good. Now we're starting to gain something from all of this. And just so we can keep carrying all this stuff until I run out of ammo for it. Another whiskey right there. Beautiful. And offset the whiskey by downing it with some wine. Nice. That will also help with the sanity. But yeah, I just kind of need to use up all the ammo for the makeshift incinerator. That's kind of what I need to do next. In fact, what I should probably do is, yep, yeah, step outside. And then immediately just try and take out the person on the left. Because I don't know where he is at this point. He might be there. He might be not. And... I'm hidden right now. Actually, if I can just get over here. I might be able to get away with this, you know. Where is the... They're all over there. Right. Where's the guy who walks backwards and forwards? I can't see him. But if I can just time this... Okay, he literally just left. Fine. Go. In we go. And... Ah! Down you go. Nice. Oh, there's more people in here. There's more people in here. And they're far too close for me to use that. Get the 9mm out. And you've got a gun too. 
Right, well, I don't like it when they've got guns. That just, quite frankly, feels like cheating. So just put a bullet in his face. All right, good. Both of them down. Makeshift assault rifle. Okay, five, five, six. And five junk bullets. Fine. So I've made a profit in here. And wasteland robes. Garbage. But what else have we got? First aid box empty. Bed if I needed it, but I'm good. How good's that on? You know what? Rad's plus one for food minus 35. I'll just eat that right now. And as for you... Ah! Knife spear. Damage 16. Now that is actually pretty good. Yes. Have any chance have you got any Abraxo? No, it's not Abraxo, sadly. That's detergent. Abraxo could improve my... Ooh, iguana bits. Yes, I'm allowed to eat those, so I can just basically pretend I don't know they're human. So, ah, there's the Abraxo. Boom, spot on. And more beer, more atomic cocktails. That restores sanity. Ah! Atomic cocktail can be used to basically get rid of a giant pile of sleep without actually bothering with sleeping. Now that is useful, yes. And more beer as well. Fine, well this house was worth it. Quite frankly, beer is amazing. Steel beer. Scotch too, marvelous. Also, Wasteland Settler. Wasn't that one of the outfits I needed to find? Yep, there we are, Wasteland Settler to cloth. Break that down, got cloth. And that means I can make two bandages, nice. So now I've got myself bandages. What exactly do you do, my good man? In fact, why are you not in aid? I feel like bandages should be in aid. There you go. You need to close and open the pit boy for them to appear. So that is plus three hit points for five seconds. Not great, but they are weightless. So that's welcome at least. And you know what? I think it's probably time to just actually leave this thing behind. It's almost out of ammo already. Just drop it, and then we can make a run while under the influence of booze. But yeah, the knife spear and the cosmic knife can both be improved if I can find the table to improve them on. And I've got nine junk rounds for this pistol as well. Better and flipping better. Right, plan. Leave this house. Immediately go to the left. If anyone sees me, start running. And they did not, which means I can just sneak out of here, having looted these four houses. And I'd say probably... Done okay out of it. And yes, I'm aware I could have taken the makeshift assault rifle, but if I had done that, then as a result, yeah, I'd have kind of been using it on my 5.56. Five, I'd rather not have an automatic. Automatics are not great in New Vegas compared to single-shot weaponry. So, yeah, I'm happy with my 5.56 five, being used up in a slightly modified varmint rifle. That strikes me as the better bet. Speaking of which, with that little incursion into Prim done... Time to continue on down the road. So yeah, racetrack on the left. We're heading down towards the motorway service station right now. And it looks like, just like in the base game, two people activate and start walking towards the station when you get close. Or possibly they already have. In which case, are they fighting something? And are there ghouls out in those wastes? Because, oh. Yeah, okay. Stay back. Those two guys just activated. That one is going to walk over there. And those two are going to have a fight with something. Don't know what with, but with something. And when they do, that works for me. Not least as I can line up a shot against you in the meanwhile. And just wait for the right moment. No. Okay, or not. Oh no, he's on the move as well. Boo. Alright, now... Are you two going to find someone and start shooting? Because there... There should hopefully be two people around the corner. Alright, just watch him. Watch him. Well, he hasn't found anything yet. Okay. And come on. The oh! Right, well, I finally got the shot I wanted while under the flipping influence of the great big wibbly-woo. And that means I think I need a bit more whiskey to keep me going. Yep, basically I'm just keeping myself going with whiskey right now. I'm a bit thirsty as well. Well, don't worry, I can sort that out. I got myself some... Actually, no. Hold off, because there's a giant thing of water over there. Save my water for when... Oh. Thought so. 
So somebody just murdered somebody else. So the two people that were approaching were technically survivors. Who are you? Who are you, my good man? Because are you heading straight at me right now? I think you more or less are, yes. Right. Also a survivor. But sneak attacks will do the job there. Alright. There might be one more. If it's a mirror of the base game, and so far it has been with two people walking that direction, that means there's going to be another one just around the corner. What do I want for them? Oh, that's that's not much ammo. Right, I need to re-shortcut something else. Yeah, 9mm with junk. That's a good thing to shortcut for the time being. Right. Guy number one. 5.56 five, and... Ah! Experimental Radax. Well, I know what that does. That actually can be mixed with my crafting kit to potentially create and always pick up a varmint rifle because I can just repair my own. I can combine that with dirty water to make purified water. Except I'm not sure I want to. I'd rather just drink the dirty water to be honest. But whatever, eh? Right. Nevada Highway Patrol Station. Yep. Yeah. Understood that was likely to be coming up. First, check the bodies. Check there's no one else here. So, we know we hit you already. Hello, you're wearing a cool little duster. Ah, 10mm pistol and round. Great. Oh no, that's not just a cool duster. That's flipping riot gear. But it weighs 30, so sorry, that's not going to fly. In fact, I'm amazed I took you down with a varmint rifle. Now, there should be another corpse around here somewhere. Because there was a fight here. Go into third person. And... No, just one. Fight. No, no, not just one, not just one, not just one, not just one. And no. Don't you shoot me, please. Not before I've shot you. Two bullets, 10 millimeter. So that's fine. That is, yeah, I've made a profit there. Just. And at this point, I've actually got myself a pretty full up 10 millimeter pistol. Right, happy with that. But probably should slap on a bandage. Right, one bandage. Great. And does this actually get me... No, this doesn't restore health at all. One quick beer. In fact, just have two beers. Great. And actually, the dog steak will give me tons. Absolutely flipping tons of health. So just do that. Oh, yeah. Apparently, just eat a bit of cooked dog and you are in golden, golden shape. Lovely. Okay, probability of someone being in here. Hi. Be ready. And, yeah. And they are wearing, yeah, Legion helmets. Do you have a gun? I'm not sure you do, but one of you has a gun. Two shots to the back of the head, execution for you. And, sorry, who are you? Oh, you're taking out an ant, are you? Uh, will you do that for me? And then once you're done with that, I'll finish off you. Anytime you're ready or do you want to... There we go. Now, now that she's done that for me, I will kill her. There we go. It's the circle of life. And this is very interesting because did you just have... You just had a battle rifle. Now, remember what I was saying earlier about how if only I had a powerful enough gun, I could probably take out that NCR guy who was just north of Good Springs... Welcome to the powerful enough gun. And you have got... Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. This is... This is quite nice. And this is... Damage threshold? No, that's not that good. Hmm. That's heavy, though. Like, every single three 308 rounds weighs one. If I want to take that with me, I'm going to basically need to clear out about 12 capacity. Bear in mind, I'm already 12 over capacity. 12, 13, because my capacity ought to be only 80. I'm just boosting it by drinking whiskey. I can't keep doing that forever. I can do it for a little while, but not forever. Right, leave it for the time being. Leave it for now. We may have to come back for that battle rifle. I'm trying to remember if by any chance there happens to be a... Ooh, Thorazine. Yeah, I'll take some Thorazine for sanity. The sanity seems to be under control. Just control that by drinking an awful lot of booze. How many chance... Oh! Guns and bullets, spot on, that's still there. There we are, guns up by three. Very, very nice increase. Now I'm hearing the noise of ants. So there's blatantly more ants here yet. So that's 
that's going to be a problem. If I want to clear out the rest of this place and see what else is here, I need to actually spend the ammunition clearing out the ants, which I don't want to do because ants don't make good eating. All right. Well. Hmm. Very easy. And closed. No, that was fine. In which case, check in here. First aid kits. There's a first aid kit, isn't there? Sadly empty. Yeah, which, you know, makes sense. And are they going to be locked in? Okay, they are going to be locked in. And there's going to be one in here, but potentially with the first aid kit. Okay, and... Oh, this was... That was not the right time for the booze to wear off. No, it was not. And dead. Okay. So, slight... Well, good and bad things. Is this guy important? Because I don't think he is. At all. I mean, what is important is my whiskey... No, put the hat back on. What is important is my whiskey habit. That's making me thirsty, though. Reloading bench, ammo box. Yeah, keep picking all that up. That's useful. Okay. And I can also help myself to... Yeah, some Hydra. Which is welcome. But if I'm not willing to spend any of the ammo killing these guys... I could just rush in, grab that, and then run straight back out again and close the door behind me. Also, just make sure these don't work. No, just a hissing noise. Just like everything else, they don't do anything. Right. What I'm going to do is... Am I in danger? I'm going to run. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to try and close the door. Is there a door? That's a door. Right. Oh, this is a terrible idea. I don't even know what this guy's got, but screw it. Go, 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 go. Search him. He's got himself... Ooh. 10mm round, 10mm ammunition, 10mm SMG extended, 10mm submachine gun. Together with a bunch of cards, a beer. Okay, that's... Actually, no, why would you ever want that? You don't want that. A 10mm submachine gun with flipping only 7 bullets. Damage of 10... Actually, damage of 10 isn't even that bad. Damage of 10 versus damage of... Yeah. Maximize the damage. Go, 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 go. Close the door. They can't open that again. Job done. Right. So, that's... They can't open doors, right? Ants can't open doors. That would be silly. They can't do that. Okay. So, we're all right for the time being. This has definitely been worthwhile coming in here. Absolutely. But, what do we do about that battle rifle? Which I want, but I can't possibly afford to take in terms of weight. The knife spear is only three. The knife spear is, yeah, nice and powerful. And can be upgraded in future. As can the cosmic knife, which is why I want to keep both of those for the time being. Ah, I can merge you into you. Just to make that a tiny bit more powerful. That saved a tiny bit of weight, but... Nowhere near enough... Okay, what ammo do we and do we not have right now? We've got a decent amount of 10. We've got a decent amount of Magnum. We've got a decent amount of, well... When was the last time I actually used the shotgun? Bearing in mind that shotguns are not actually that good in this game. Yes! That's where we make a sacrifice. The single shotgun weighs 7. And that just is not very good now. Enemies are starting to have armor. Yeah. Swap the shotgun for the battle rifle. That's a good swap. And I can just about afford it as well. Great. Got the battle rifle. Don't forget the extra single round on her. Job done. Now this thing I can now use to, yeah, at a somewhat reliable basis, kill anybody. So a sneak attack critical with this thing will murder whatever I point it at. Making this a very, very useful thing to have. Right. Time to keep on keeping on. Keep exploring this local area. Aha! This will be one of the people that you just killed first. 9mm pistol round and all of that business. Good, I'll take that. And actually, we're up to flipping 15 bullets, not junk, in the 9mm. I'll tell you what, that'll do. Now, I suspect this is where we're going to start running into some brick walls. Pretty darn soon. Don't panic about being detected. That can just be crows. And there definitely are some crows that spawn around this part of the world. No, actually... On this occasion, it's, uh, it's an ant. So, that's 
Okay. Do not miss. Do not miss the giant worker ant. So, boop. And boop. Boop. Down you go. Now, those are only worth 9 XP each. These guys aren't worth killing. Ant eggs are... Well, actually... I could just basically take the ant egg and immediately eat it. Apparently, you can just eat those raw, which sounds disgusting. But it seems to do the job. But yeah, the meat is worth minus strength. Which is not good. So, I guess we may as well do that just to keep myself going along. Now. Are there any ants around here? I don't see any, which is weird, because I'd actually expect to see some more. Also, there's the garage up there. Now, the garage might have giant rad scorpions. There's a giant worker ant. Any chance me and you are willing to just let each other be? Because honestly, I don't see much point in killing you. And everything's gone very, very orange. Yeah, rad scorpions. But, under this rule set, I could probably clear them out. The only real question is, is it worth it? And I suspect the answer is... No. No, that's not going to be worth it. That's just going to be a lot of ammo. Admittedly, it would be nice to see what was going on inside that building. Because that building is, yeah, it's like a garage where there's like some... Some food shelves and freezers and diddly diddly day, But probably best just bypass it. Move straight on. Although, don't forget to check the backs of the trucks. How close am I to the scorpions right now? Got to go over to that truck over there. That's probably a bit of a risk. I'll bypass that one. But keep an eye out. Keep a very close eye out here. Yeah, I'll skip the garage. I mean, it's just a random garage. I've got no reason to believe there's going to be anything important there. Aside from... Oh! Need to do some more whiskey, though. There we go. That's better. As long as I keep doing the whiskey, I can keep carrying everything I'm supposed to be carrying. This is... This is not a good long-term solution. I don't know what I'm planning to do when I run out of whiskey. I haven't quite thought that far ahead yet. Got ourselves 10 bajillion empty soda bottles here. This looks... Quiet. Okay. No need to creep around there. And let's actually speed things up a bit here. So, NCR outpost. If it's still held by the NCR, they're going to be dicks and they're going to shoot me. If, however, it's held by survivors, they're going to be dicks and they're going to shoot me. Alternatively, could be cannibals. They're going to be dicks and they're going to shoot me. So, the positive scenario is tribals. Because tribals just look a bit angry at me, but for the most part, don't mind me living alongside them. Or, maybe, some of the rare breed survivors that aren't dicks, but, oh. Okay. Who is firing at who right now? I don't see anything yet. Potentially. I mean, you know, good scenario. What if there's two different factions in here, and they're murdering each other? That works for me. That really works for me, in fact. Alright. Just keep your distance. Until we know what it is. And... This is not a good time for my vision to completely give out. Cannibals, damn it. Actually, how many? Because there's a bar here. Quite frankly, Cannibal Camp. Probably. Quite a few. Cannibal. Cannibal. Enough that this might not be worthwhile. I count two on the right. One in the middle over there. Two or possibly three on the roof. That's five minimum and more inside. Yeah, this, this isn't worth it. This isn't worth it for me. Uh, if one of them wants to just come and expose themselves though... That's unwilling to just... Oh, hello. Are you just... Oh, I was about to say. Are you just armed with crappy weapons that don't do anything? No, 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 no. Also, let's just freeze you in midair and take you out. There you go. You can just fly off into space now. And you've got some form of... Is that a 9mm? I think that's a 9mm submachine gun. And boom, bit closer. That's more like it. Boom, boom, boom. Right, he's dead. 
I'll tell you what, if I can lure some of them out, I wouldn't say no. Uh, do one stim pack, get the healing going in off that. Wait. 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 Wait, and what the hell have you got there? Right. I'm not quite sure what the hell that thing is. But it's it's a bit on the big and dangerous side. Right, well if three of them are already dead. And I'm in not terrible shape. I mean, I've actually got quite a few stim packs. Screw it. I'm just going to take a double stim pack now. We're just going to heal up. We're going in. That's a makeshift submachine gun. Uh, that's a motorcycle, John. Not a corpse. Automatic... Oh, blimey. Automatic rifle. So, some form of big, rapid spitting 308 thing. Well, that's total flipping garbage. You do not want to be spending your 308 ammo on something that's, you know, not actually hitting that hard. Definitely flipping not. Though actually 17 is not that bad, but I think we can do better. Where'd the other guy go? I think he's just naffed off down the hill, whatever. I mean, honestly, I'm mainly just here for the fully stocked bar, all right? Because booze, 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 booze. That's presumably cleared out. Yeah, that's cleared out a few of them. Not many, mind. And which one's... Hang on, which one's the bar? The building the far side's the building that's like the administrative building. The building you can climb on top of, that's the bar. Alright. And there's... Oh, there's loads more, yeah. There's flipping loads more. Yeah, that's... That's not necessarily going to fly at all. Let's just see if I can just pick off a handful of them. How many junk rounds do I have? Oh, I've got 10 bajillion junk rounds for the varmint rifle. So that's nice. So if I could maybe just get some of those guys down like that. That'd do the job. You totally heard that. Someone up there. Yeah, sneak attack might do the job. Whiskey! Keep doing more whiskey. You see, I'm running out of whiskey at this point. I need to get inside to get more flipping whiskey. I see two of you up there. I'm in caution. So someone's coming this way. No, they're not anymore. Right. Wait, 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 wait. Take out the... Snipers. No. Okay. And... Not even close. And now the branches are probably going to be messing... In terms of hitboxes. Right. Chill out. Oh, how many is over there? Maybe just one. There we go. Got a couple of good shots in there. But now they're going to have good shots at me too. And also that cliff's being stupid at me. And hold, hold still. Hold, hold still. What did I just say? Right, cannibals are coming. Ah, but some of them don't actually have proper guns. Go over to someone else, and go over to junk rounds, in fact. And don't have problems reloading, and also you're stuck on a light. Boom. Right, you'll be nice and easy to take out. Well, I say this. He's wearing proper NCR armor, unfortunately. That's defense does a good job. Right, get back into cover. Back off over here. How many more are coming? There's another one coming, and he doesn't have a gun. And also, I think I just moved out of his... Oh, bloody hell, they've got guns, though. Oh, they've there. Yep, they've got guns. Right, okay. Fall back, fall back, fall back. Let them come to me. And there's one who's just got himself a little spiky club. But he's just, just to snipe him off with a couple of bullets to the face. Right, another one goes down. I think I can clear out this camp. Aside from the slight, slight problem of... Oh, okay. Right, watch out for that. Uh, Just slap a bandage on that and maybe just do a quick beer maybe a couple of beers just for strength and oh wait you're you're a different guy to the guy who's shooting me you've just got a makeshift cleaver looks like one headshot will finish you off right back into cover back into cover back into cover where's the guy with the actual gun where's the guy with the oh and okay not you they've decided to come together can I finish you off right now? Because it looks like I might be able to. If I could get the headshot, yes. That'll get the headshot. And then you, my good man. Do I still have that? I can get some. Boom. 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 And then... Oh! Did I miss... Oh, no. Now I'm surrounded. Now I'm surrounded. No. This isn't working. 
I think we might need to leave this bitch. I don't think we're quite ready to take on that camp yet. Right, walk away for the time being. Alright, we now know the NCR outpost has been replaced by a cannibal camp. I'm not quite strong enough to take those guys on yet. It feels like major forms of civilization have been replaced by cannibal camps. Although now I think about it, what I probably ought to do... Oh, yes! I've just had an excellent idea. You see, I really do actually want to take out that little service station. And if I approach from the north... Something's already hunting me. I'm not sure what it is, to be honest. If I approach from the north and hang out on top of these rocks, I should be able to use a combination of throwables and other bits and pieces to actually take out the scorpions. How much have we got to take out? One rad scorpion. Rad scorpion number two. So two rad scorpions right there. Three rad scorpions right there. All right. So if you guys wouldn't mind just all, I don't know, clustering together, and then I could just get an explosive on all of you, that would be flipping marvellous. And they are all actually standing really conveniently close together right now. I mean, I'm not sure what the actual range of these throwables is. Right now, 0% chance to hit. Something's detected me. Is it you? I don't know if it's you. If it is you, something might just be about to attack me from behind. I've no clue. Hello, Rad Scorpions. How would you like to come and be friends? I bet you would, wouldn't you? Yes, I flipping bet you would. And... Okay, how did that not do more to you? Why did that take so long to flipping detonate? Right, okay. What I need to do now is uh, hit them with something that actually flipping hurts. Like, ooh, that'll do the flipping job, won't it? This thing, yeah, these guys are now burning pretty nicely. How long until you owe? Okay. I may have been slightly optimistic, in fact. Yeah, that critical... Strike didn't do much. Ah, uh, now there's now there's more of them. Wait, can you guys actually open doors? Because I'm not convinced you can. I mean, wait, hang on. I thought we tested this during You Only Live Once and we discovered the answer was yes, they could. Screw it. Go inside, general store. They're going to be able to follow me. Actually, if they can, I can just stand on top of things. Yes, this is actually a genius idea. Why would I bother trying to kill them at all? There's some vodka. There's a bottle cap. There's some money. Completely worthless money. There's some bloody gumdrops, obviously, and a tiny bit of cram, because why the bloody hell not, eh? Yes, why bother actually trying to kill these guys? I can just run straight past them. That is so much easier. Ammo box. Electron charge pack. Keep it in case I find one of those. Ooh, 50. Sadly, not ready for that. Oh, food. Lots. Oh, squirrel on a stick. Screw on a stick is really, really good. And possibly also human flesh in disguise. It's kind of hard to tell. Right, what else have we got in here? Ooh, dirty water. Nice, I'll take that. And skill book. All right, it's kind of worth it just for a skill book, quite frankly. Especially as that was, uh, yeah, that was the stealth one, wasn't it? No, that was, um, no, that was the unarmed one. No, it was red. I got temporarily confused. Well, I'll tell you what, we've come out of this with a giant pile of food. If nothing else, I've got myself cram, which is not that bad. I've got myself two squirrels on a stick, which are actually really, really good as well. I think I've got myself... Yeah, this was definitely a worthwhile trip to make. Now, getting out without being stung to death, that's going to be the trick. Okay, all I need to do, put the gun away, and then immediately start running, 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 and just see if we can get them caught on trees, whatever. So if we can just basically get far enough away fast enough, we'll actually be pretty darn good. Because uh, creatures in New Vegas, blimey, the, the filter they use is having a bit of an odd day today. <laughs> right, well this is... I think possibly the skies just failed to load in. If the sky was orange, this might look like it made a bit more sense. And the scorpions naffed off. The scorpions have indeed naffed off. Marvellous. There we go, I turned the game off and on again. It seems to have remembered that there ought to be some sort of filter on the sky as well to suit the general aesthetic. Marvellous! So, important thing to check at this point. Well, one, I'm on the death road. The death road is never a fun place to be. This is the road that leads to Nipton. Which, based on what I've seen in all forms of civilization so far, 
is not going to be a good, happy, nice place. And yeah, we're very likely to have something like the base game. Scorpions on the right of me. Ants on the left. Though the ants generally seem to leave me alone. And a possibility of an ambush directly ahead of me. And in these conditions, spotting an ambush is going to be a lot more difficult. Yes, I'm aware of the ants. I don't care about the ants. Is there still an ambush going on ahead? Okay. If they're in the same position as in the base game, I should already be able to see one of them. Yeah, thought so. And this is... Alright, he just hit me pretty hard, actually. And boom! Right, well, he just missed. Good. Finish you off. Now, if I get very lucky, and I can just sneak away from you right now, I say, as I can already hear more bullets arriving. Boom. I need to... Wow, you really knackered me quickly. Okay. Do a couple of stim packs, and then just basically... Get to the other side of this cover. I do Oh, blimey heck! I suspect one of them has a big explosive thing then. Yes. Alright, alternative solution to getting to Nipton. Don't follow the road at all. Simply head due east over the lake. Then turn right. Making sure we leave enough distance between me and Prim. The cannibals don't mind. Because the ants are going to struggle to hunt me down. That will let me bypass the survivor ambush that still seems to exist in that hut over there. So yeah, actually, compared to Fallout 4, I think there's a lot of assumptions you can make about dust that you couldn't make in Frost. Like, a lot of the enemy positioning seems to be, just keep down in the booze. A lot of the- oh, I'm addicted. Good, good, good. What does that even do? I can't remember what the addiction effects are in New Vegas. I just recall they're not that bad. Well, right now, it's nothing because I'm actually under the effect of alcohol. I'll check when the uh, the whiskey actually wears off. But yeah, you can make a lot of assumptions based on where enemies used to be in, uh, in the actual base game as to where they're going to be in dust far more than you could do in Frost. The enemy types may have changed, sure, and additional ones may have been added in, sure, but you can still make some... Oh. Hello. Tunnelers. That's bad. That's... Right, I'm going to... Wait, was that more tunnels up ahead? Right, Nipton might be a bit of a... Oh, Nipton might be a lot of a no-go. I'm just going to try running. And we're going to see if that's going to work. I'm just going to... Okay, you know what? I'm just curious as to what's actually going on inside the town now. So I'm just going to see if I can... Never mind. I've decided that way is a no-go. Every time I reload the game, this mod makes more and more intriguing decisions about what colour the sky ought to be. I mean, that. That's special right there. There you go. I think it's figured it out. And it's just very quickly blushing it to a lovely red. Now, let's head back the way we came. I think we've explored enough of this area. I've actually gained a fair amount of food. Uh, and I'm pretty confident at this point, yeah. With me in my current state at level 2, uh, with some basic guns and not that much ammunition... Fighting my way to Nipton, or fighting my way into that cannibal camp, that's not going to fly. And I've been deliberately not drinking water this entire time, because... Oh, blimey. <laughs> Need to keep doing the boost, though. Am I about to get addicted? And... No! Not on this occasion, actually. Right, get rid of that, and now have myself a drink. No, make sure I'm not standing in the water, though. I feel less thirsty. And is that enough? Because you tend to lose water very quickly when you're actually just drinking directly from a source. Yeah, that's already down to zero. You lose that so quickly. So that's pretty good. I mean, oh, What I'd love to do, actually, is have a sleep. Because if I had a sleep now, then I wouldn't need to worry about sleep again. Or I could just do that atomic cocktail. Could just do the atomic cocktail. I mean, yeah, why not? Why not? I'll just do that. Okay. Do that. And then drink up. That's going to be enough water to offset that. And now I should actually be well under control. Yeah. Water full up. Food effectively full up. Sleep. And we do actually have with me... How much dirty water? I've got two dirty water, two cram, five dog steaks. So water is 
Water's always the problem. Water is always the flipping problem. But we're under control for the time being. We're under control for the time being. Because remember, water isn't just dirty water. Water is also beer. I've got eight beer right now. So eight beer is like... That's almost, yeah, two, three hundred uh, water just in beer. I've got another... Actually, I'm out of wine. I've downed all of my wine. But I've still got enough for the time being. Still got enough for the time being. I think it's time for us to actually make a move to the other side of the map now. I'm pretty happy with what we've achieved to date. So, in which case, let's head on. Unless, of course, ooh. Would I like to? No. Trying to make it to the sheriff's house to basically get the guns and ammunition out of there. That's got to be a bad idea. That is absolutely 100% going to be a terrible idea. I might make a profit on ammo off that, you know. No, don't do it. Don't do that just for now. Instead, let's head back north. Let's see what we can find around these parts. Especially, ooh, multiple ammo boxes. Oh, I'd forgot. Oh, no, don't take those. Those are really heavy and I don't actually need them for anything. But this stuff, I'll gladly take this. In fact, did I forget to clear these out? I forgot to clear these out on the way in as well. 5mm garbage. Okay, flame of fuel garbage. Empty garbage and empty. Well, that one was less good. I'll admit, I'm less impressed by that one. Any chance there's more up top? And the answer is no. Just a chance for me to have a little looksy round. Everything seems to be under control. Fine. In which case, I want to make a very quick diversion... Back to Good Springs. Oh dear. But I might need to be a little bit more careful on the way. Because one, I need to... Oh dear, you can't actually get through this, can you? No, no you can't. The best way to trick a tunneler. Simply just... I wonder if I could do this the whole way down. Could I actually do this the whole way down? I might be able to, you know. And then around here. And then... Any chance there's these things that all, all the way along? And round you come, round you come, round you come, round you come, round you, round you, round you come. Sorry, I'm this side now. No, oh, hang on, there are more over there. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, now go over here. Right, now just loop to this one over here. Right, this one's quite a long way away. He's, I oh, he got behind me, boo. Boo. Now you can't get to me. Right, okay, now, round here, round here. <laughs> it's stupid that this works, but here we flipping are. And round here. And now I just need to make a run for the... <laughs> uh, jump over the rock to buy myself a minute. And then he's actually managed to fluff that one. Ah, darn it. He's just shredding my armor. Right, I need to actually do this a bit more carefully. Because this bastard will cause trouble for me otherwise. Boo. Boo, I say. Especially, oh, there's way more of them. Yeah, there's loads of them in the hills. Fine, I need to uh, stay away from these gets. And on this occasion, I'm actually upset a cannibal. But they're just very gently plinking at me. They don't really pose much in the way of... When I say not much in the way of threat, that was that was quite a few more bullets, actually. Yes, that's that was quite a few bullets. Okay, let's just quickly just run down here into... Okay, stop shooting me now. Seriously, you're very much undermining the point I was just trying to make. Now, what is going on here? What is with these evolved centaurs fighting tunnelers? And winning, by the looks of it. Right, well, luckily, these things have an incredibly... Slow projectile. So if we're very lucky, I might just be able to basically, just by weaving backwards and forwards, just bypass the evolved centaurs. In fact, you even spit at me if I'm not looking at you. You might not do, you know. Uh, right. Now around here. Around here. And then, yep. Yeah, still attempting to spit at me, but it's not going so well. I might need to clear out the, the guys by the caravan up here, just to actually clear myself a path I can actually utilise. Oh! And also keep doing boobs. Except here's something fun I've just discovered when I caught up with a tunneler. If I can actually get the hit, a throwing spear appears to be enough to actually kill these. Oh, blimey, what the? Right, he had a friend. But that's interesting to know. Throwing spears powerful enough to one-shot those guys in the face. And that does rather make the acquisition of hammers even more important, doesn't it? If I can basically just start one-shotting these bastards, they come up to me, so ghouls run at me, just go into vats, and then just hit them in the head. Meanwhile, tunnelers, 
As long as you're holding a throwing spear, just let him get close and then headshot him. Yeah, that, that is interesting. Admittedly, Vat's defense in New Vegas is nowhere near as strong as it is in Fallout 3. But, yeah, you do still get a significant defense upgrade during that, so that's not so bad. Here we go, time for a test. Hulking, oh, hulking tunneler. That might be more of a problem. Just throw everything we've got at him. Number one, his head's crippled. That staggers him for long enough for me to get number two in. He goes down, but that cost me basically all of my health. Oh, and you guys have decided to show up right now, have you? Well, screw you two. You know, you could have just helped me out with the actual tunneler. That would have been fine as well, you dicks. And I think they've decided they can't be asked anymore. Great, so they've left me with one hit point and now naffed off. Thanks, guys. Much appreciated. But you know what? This is going to let me answer a very important question, which is, does sleeping automatically fill up your health? Because if it does, that would be a marvellous thing to know about. So, back in Good Springs, and a couple of things I want to do. One, to the workbench. And obviously, it's two Abraxoclean as you need, not one. Dear, oh, flipping dear. Now, knife spear. Abraxoclean at times three... And duct tape times one. Ah, but I need also three knives to make the cosmic knife spear. Fine. So that there's not going to fly. Fine. But if I could just find one more Abraxo cleaner, I could actually get myself a damage 80 DPS 39 knife in good condition. That's definitely worth trying to find. So I need to just quickly go and find another Abraxo cleaner. And, bear in mind, I've now got the lockpick to get myself into the garage where Ringo's hiding out, so I can go check out what's going on there. Because if it's anything like the base game, there should hopefully be a bit of booze, a couple of containers, and an open safe, which would just be marvellous. And don't forget, of course, there's a couple of bathrooms around the back of here. If there's going to be a Braxo... A Braxo! Yoink! I don't think anyone's going to be needing that. Except, of course, I'm lacking three repair. No, that's unacceptable. Good old Fixing Things magazine from the saloon. Marvellous. Screw you, game. I can make what I want. Including, ooh, a harpoon. la di da No, I think I'm happy with a cosmic knife clean, actually. Make that. Nice. So, that is now in good condition. Make that my, yeah, make that my main weapon there. You go down over here. And now I know that the knife spear is not going to be useful for much for a while. We can just dump that to save some weight. I need to make some difficult decisions about what I do and don't want to carry around with me. Also, I'm assuming this thing doesn't work. I mean, it says that you can move them from place to place. And normally you don't bother. But I wonder if it actually does work. You must discover a second one. Oh, boo. I mean, as much as I hate to admit it, I'm just carrying too much stuff. And I just need to get rid of some of it. Or I just need to actually get myself up to the next level. And get myself... Oh, I wonder how far I am off the next level. Then I could get an extra 15. Oh, I'm only 100 XP away. Right. I need to get rid of a little bit, but not too much. Screw it. Just take a dog steak and wash it down with a beer. And we're okay for the minute. Oh, no. I am actually addicted. Fine. Fine, 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 fine. That's to be expected sooner or later. We knew we were going to get addicted. Embrace the addiction. And here we are, the final building in Good Springs. And be ready. No, all quiet. Good. That's another 50... Oh, that's another 54 XP right there. Okay, I'm like... Oh, and there's 54 XP as well. Wait, is that going to be enough? That might literally just be enough. And no, no, it was not. A uh, bit of money... Tell you what, dirty cola. Nuka cola also helps out. I may as well just take those and immediately drink them and just fix up my guns with that too. Nice. I can also help myself to, yeah, tiny bit more whiskey over there. Large whiskey bottle. Anything else? Am I misremembering that there was a. I thought there was an unarmed skill book in here, but I might be losing my mind. That's entirely possible. And on top of that. Yeah, I'm just losing my mind. Fine, totally losing my mind. Now, is there any ammunition down there? Now, that's a pack of cigarettes now. Boo. Bottle caps I'll never actually spend. Empty, empty, empty. Iguana on a stick. Excellent. Now, important thing here. Sleep for one hour. And... No. 
Sleeping for one hour did not restore my health. And also that affected my... Wait. Apparently the angel and devil symbols mean sanity. Why would sleeping for one hour negatively affect my sanity? Ah, because the booze has worn off. Right. So, what's the situation right now? Alcohol withdrawal, damage to sanity, charisma minus one, agility minus one. Fine, so I just need to keep drinking booze. Gotcha. Honestly, that is really not that bad at all. Charisma minus one is meaningless, agility minus one is uh, modest, and I totally misread the XP thing. There's another 100 XP I need. Boo. And yeah, now when I drink beer, I get the angel symbol because I've got my sanity back. So I take a temporary sanity hit during the effect of not alcohol. Now that's a shame, but it's kind of a bit of a necessary thing. And I'm very much liking my new clean cosmic knife. Oh yeah, that's gonna do the job right there. Good condition, powerful, high DPS, swing, 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 oh yeah. Next time I run into a stupid cannibal, this is gonna tear them apart. Now, that battle rifle. Time to go and say hello to the NCR. And actually, you know what? I've actually been carrying around this whole time a weapon repair kit. This strikes me as the thing to use it on. I should have used that while under the effect of fixing things, because how much you repair is a function of your repair skill, but screw it. It's still a good idea. It's no longer flashing at me. That's probably good. Now, if this goes anything like last time, I'm just going to be bumbling along here, and then in a minute... I'm going to run into an NCR person. I'm going to run into the NCR person. They're going to have killed the Cazadors around here already. So come around the corner here and we should see a Cazador nest up on a cliff somewhere. There should be a Cazador nest. There it is. That's a Cazador nest. Now, if we're very lucky, the Cazadors will spawn in. The NCR will shoot them. And there we go. That is the sound of Cazadors being shot down. If we're very lucky, potentially, the Cazadors will do some damage to the NCR. And we just need to pick off the survivor. So, wait. There we go. I see you. Oh, yeah. I didn't even need the battle rifle for this. On this occasion, this has actually got... Oh, no. Maybe I did, because there's two of them. Right, I see the problem. Right, can I get up on top of this cliff? Because if I can have the high ground, that would be great. Uh, but this might be a bit of an invisible wall. Hard to be sure. Also, let's just make sure I'm absolutely certain how many I'm taking on right now. And also, what are you holding? You're holding, that looks like some form of handgun. Possibly a 4-5 handgun. And that at the back of you is a service rifle. Which I would love. Service rifles are... Easy to maintain, pretty powerful, 5.56 five, ammo everywhere, they're pretty light. So you are, but my aim is swaying, but I should hopefully be able to land this anyway. And... Okay, or not. Now this is, now it's gone to hell. And... Dead. And... No, yes, I think I just hit the gun or something there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Just, just, just get the... No! Poor. Oh. Right. Bit more ammo usage than I'm happy with there. A shame. But we've cleared out the NCR. That's opened up this path to the north. I'm not sure if that's really a good thing or not, but... Oh. What if they were the scouts just guarding an NCR camp over there? Because isn't up there where there's the... The camp where the comic book that's like the little prequel to... Oh, yeah. They weren't killing Cazadors at all. The nest may still be there. The Cazadors weren't. You guys were gunning down tribals, you bastards. And this is what I wanted. Service rifle. Look at that. Damage 14. DPS 68. And uses the 5.56. Right. Trade out my varmint rifle for that. Just give them the varmint rifle back. Take the NCR dog tag, take the case. Don't need the armor. Right, this is good stuff. That service rifle should become one of my main go-to weapons. Admitting I need a lot more flipping... Yeah, a load more guns before I can use it properly. But it's probably a good idea to keep it around anyway. I like that thing. 
Oh yeah, there we go. That's nice. That's very nice. Now, let's see what else we've got in this big old pile of corpses. What did you have? Yeah, thought so. 4.5 auto pistol. That is a powerful little pistol. 1.5 weight hits bloody hard. I'd like to take that and use it till it runs out of ammunition, but I say that about all my guns, then I keep them forever. So I really can't be trusted. But I'm going to do it anyway by just drinking enough booze. And the NCR Duster gives you, yeah, weight up by five. Kinda nice, actually. Kinda nice. And actually, I wouldn't mind the helmet. For damage threshold two, is my current hat actually giving me anything? It's... No, it's not. I'm not even getting perception plus one off that thing. <laughs> Take the damn helmet in that case. Right, good. Got the pistol, done some booze. There's just a bird. And some of you died. A little face mask. Ooh, face mask. No, I've already got the, the helmet and the little mask I picked up already. Good combination. Unless, of course, any of you are going to give me anything better. Damage threshold 7, fire resistance 15, war club, Xander root. Fine, some of the assets from Honest Heart showing up here. May as well take this for the time being. Ooh! Yaogwai gauntlets. Damage 18 and DPS of 23. How does that compare to the cosmic knife? That's damage 18, but DPS a lot higher. And also got bonus limb and critical chance. This does not. And also it weighs 10 versus 1. So basically, the answer to that is no. Okay, that bird spooked me a little bit there, I'm going to be honest. And war walker armor. Fire resistance 15, but it's a burnt body anyway. <laughs> so basically, that didn't really work out for him. Fine. Let's just keep on heading down here. I feel like I'm going to regret all of this, but if I hit the next level, ouch, I'm suffering from beer withdrawal. <laughs> oh, tribals. Now, tribals are 80% of the time cool, as long as you keep your distance. 20% of the time, they're dicks. So let's just try keeping my distance. And being totally cool with them. That's another one there, right? Yeah, that's another one there. Leave them be. Now, am I going to go into Detected without them firing? Because if they fire, I'm going to need to rethink this. No, I just went into Detected. Yeah, they know about me. Me and them are cool. Right, so actually, an alternative could have been I could have potentially led the NCR into those guys. And if there's anything bad down the bottom of the hill here, I might be able to lead it up into these guys. These tribals can actually be my best friends. Right, making some progress here. This is not normally a route I come, but this, this could... Okay, or, or possibly not. Oh, what the cock is... Okay, didn't, didn't see you guys showing up actually. Ouch, avenge me, avenge me you tribal bastards. I'm not sure they're interested in avenging me. Right, this time, sneak up top here. Where are those Cazadors? I need to see the Cazadors before they see me. Because if I can get a good shot in on them and then maybe just lead them around the corner. Yeah, those are tribals, but they're pretty chill, actually. Where are the Cazadors? Because I can see, well, there's a nest there. Fine, problem. But what if I, okay, jump down over here. Jump over here. There you go. I see ya. I see ya. You little baby bastard. I hate Cazadors. Everyone hates Cazadors. Cazadors are just the worst. Right, let's get their attention. Now, do the Cazadors know I'm here? I believe the answer is yes. Can I lead the Cazadors back down? Oh, yeah. Hello. Yes, that's right. You have wings, but weirdly you can't actually fly with them. You're technically just walking with a funny animation. Ah, but they know they can't get to me. So they're not trying. Alright. What happens if I just come over here? I'm just going to see if I can lead them around the corner. And just broke my own legs and died there. Well done. And yeah, these guys are pretty chill. As long as I keep my distance. So, plan for Kazdors, of course. Let's just play this smart here. The thing you aim for with the Kazdors is always the wings. Once they're on the ground, they're useless. So there you go. I, no, 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 no. I see him over there. I literally just saw the wings. Don't pretend it's not there. Yeah, there you are, you stupid bastard. Right. Now you're there. Start, put the gun away and start running backwards. Start running backwards. And... No, not me. Not me. Don't go for the... 
Are you throwing at me or are you throwing at the Kazador? I really hope you're throwing at the Kazador right now. Yes, maybe. Okay, they're now throwing over there. Good! I have successfully managed to use these bastards to defeat Kazador. That works for me. In fact, I think one of them just dropped dead from poison. I'm very sorry. Not sorry enough to not loot you or anything, but I am sorry. If you wouldn't mind walking away from your friend right now so I could just, like, loot his body and the Kazador, that would really be appreciated. But I'm suspicious that if I try now, I'll be too close to you and you'll go hostile. Yes? No? All right, fine. I'll be back in a second with another Kazador. I definitely saw two of them in this direction. So I think I can go and pick up a second... Oh, did I just hear that? No, I didn't hear the dramatic drum roll music activates. But, come on. I know you're around here. I saw two of you. I saw a second one. You're here somewhere, all right? Unless, of course, you're... Right, he might have naffed off. Question is, what's in that town over there? And is it something I could politely lead into those tribals to deal with for me? Because, of course, yeah, they're armed with things like hatchets and throwables, which are powerful, but finite. But, of course, for them, they're not finite, because if they're just holding that weapon, they've just got infinite of them. Until you kill them, then there's only one again, because the AI plays by weird rules. So, heads towards this little town, and just see what we got. Because I very rarely come here, so I can't really remember what's going on here at all in the base game. I know this is where you can pick up the, is it the unique variant of the, um, the, the dog tag gauntlet thing? I mean, all's quiet so far. In fact, all's suspiciously quiet. In fact, why am I actually in, why am I in caution right now? And is there a bar here? Because all I really want is, oh yeah. There's, there's problems. Okay, you're a survivor. Uh, not for too much longer, mind. Bit more. There we go. That's probably close enough to your... That's less likely to hit you. That's just right. That there is the baby bear amount. I need to... You're going to murder me now. Yep. As it turns out, he had much better armor than me. Yes, I'm already dead, you bastard. Oh, there's the- oh, there's several others, there's several others, I've found more, I've found more, please help, please, excuse me, please help with all of the Cazadors, I've just summoned all the Cazadors in the world, please take them out for me, if you're willing to assist, I'm going to try and help out as best I can, and one of them's still maybe coming for me, oh, I think it's just, right, that's okay, now all the tribals are dead, now the tribals are dead. Right, on the plus side, you've just sort of- Ah, bloody hell! I hate it when they do the sprint forward. It unnerves me immensely. I need to hit the wings. I need to take out the- I need to get close enough to it to take out the wings. Because that'll do. One, two, just cripple the wings. Cripple the wings! No! Okay, no, no. Also, what happened to my thing that was going to deliberately- There we go! It finally bothered triggering. Oh god, I hate these things. These things are the worst. Uh, what have I got that actually fires at a decent rate? Service rifle! Save me, service rifle! No, no, no! Oh, oh. I hate everything. Right, and almost level three. Am I still losing? I'm still losing. Eat food! Eat dog meat to offset poison! Wait, no, don't! Just use, um, anti-venom! Good! Don't know where that came from, but I've got some, so that's marvellously good news. Ooh, and I've actually got a crippled limb. Well, then it's good that I brought that splint along, isn't it? Especially as those actually have weight. So, you know what? Nice to use them. There we go. So, getting some health back. Dead Casador. Now, how much? Oh, I've got so many junk rounds. Now, what happened to the other one? Because there was totally a third. And I don't know if it actually... There it is. Oh, it's a young one. Okay, the young ones aren't so bad. Uh, are you actually... I think he might have actually gone outside of his roaming range. So he's just naffing off at this point. Yeah, I'm not sure he wants to do this anymore. Still, on the plus side, all this... Oh, wait. Bedroll kit. Oh, that weighs 10. A bed anywhere I want, but it weighs 10. That is... That's good, but oh... 
If you're thinking about it, either do it or don't. Alright, seriously. I can't see. Don't do it right now. Quickly, do vodka. Vodka will do. Excellent. Okay, now you can try and do it. Right, where are you? Are you... Are you trying to attack me or not? You... Just go away. You're making me very nervous right now. Sadist armor. Tomahawk! That's what you've got. You weren't throwing lead pipes. You were throwing tomahawks. Mother Darkness. Okay. Nice poison, but I'm not going to take it because I will literally never use it. Alright? I will never, ever, ever use it, so I shouldn't take it. And then finally, you, hatchets and turbo. Turbo I might theoretically use. You never know. Alright, here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. And wait... This is probably the right moment. I've got... Yeah, I've got a good shot at the wings. Take out the wings. Boom. And that's him crippled. Once the wings are down, he's done. That's what I wanted from the first one. And I think that's enough to push me into... Level 3! Nice! Everything around here is now death. Okay, guns. I want them to 50, absolute minimum. Because 50 means, actually... 65 is a threshold for some guns, isn't it? Yes. I should take a bit more sneak as well. Let's get sneak up to to 50. I've already got lockpick and science that I can do easy terminals. Speech is completely irrelevant. Survival boost that to 40. What else do I need? Probably just focus on guns at that point. Yeah, guns up to 54. That's actually, you know what? Take a bit more... Am I healing? No, I'm not really healing that much with medicine. Maybe take two there, but then put two in survival. Because survival is affecting how many hit points I'm getting from food and drink. Which is actually where I'm doing most of my healing right now. So, actually, forget medicine. Survival. Boom. Right, level... Okay. Level three. Interesting. That's... That's new. That New Vegas just gave me a perk at level three. Right. So, the whole business about every other level... Turns out to not be a thing. Now, is any of this new or is this everything I've seen before? Because some of this might be... Ah, yeah, shotgun training's new, for example. So, oh, that's shotgun surgeon. Ooh. Right. But specialization comes with penalties all of a sudden. So, sure, I get shotgun surgeon, but 5% reduced damage with everything else, which is not fun. I mean, it's got to be strong back. Yeah. I can't think of anything I want more than an extra 15 pounds of carry capacity right now. Boom. And with that, we are in good shape. I've actually got, oh, flipping heck, 110, but that's under the effect of booze, I'm assuming. That's, yeah, that's with strength plus three, but that's still 95 by default. All right, I've got an extra 11 spare carry capacity right now. Oh, mwah, absolutely flipping marvellous. Have I already searched you, by the way? Yes. Yes, I have. Uh, all right. I'm pretty sure that's those bastards. Never mind. There's probably more. There's probably more. There's always... Flip Why is there never over? Why is there always slightly more than I expect there to be? Right. Heal up just in case. Back off. See if we can figure out where it bloody is. And figure out... Oh, no. So that extra 15 carry capacity. Right, fine. We'll take the bloody bedroll kit, I suppose. I've still got some extra capacity, like five more. I might just have to drop that thing later. In all fairness, I haven't really struggled with beds or sleeping or rest or tightness so far. So we might have to have a think about whether I do actually want to keep that. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen? I'd say that's enough for now. Let's call it a part there. I'd say we've done some good exploration today. This might have arguably been a little bit on the wasteful side, but I'm not really just trying to, you know, trade bullets for more bullets. I'm also trying to trade bullets for XP. And I just got up to level 3. And I feel like I'm in a good situation as a result of that. The actual service rifle... What's the capacity? 75. Yeah, all of the guns, their requirements to use correctly have been whacked right up. Right flipping up. Uh, are the pistols at least maybe 50? Yes, the pistols are 50. But technically, I think I'm not actually on 50 right now, am I? No, I'm at 42? That's, that's a little bit on the harsh side. Hang on. Oh. 
agility minus three, and intelligence minus three, and agility minus one. Right, so remember how I just took guns up to 50? Yeah, my guns aren't 50, my guns are 42, because of agility minus four. Great, just flipping marvellous. So, join me next week, ladies and gentlemen, as I hopefully fight my way up to level four, and we also see what else is going on over here, whether I can storm that town, whether I can get some booze out of it, whether I can actually fight my way back to, ooh. Remember the starting location, the hidden armory outside Red Rock? There were a whole bunch of boxes to open, and I could do easy lockpicking, and I've got a couple of bobby pins. I might be able to get some good stuff out of there, ladies and gentlemen. So, we will start off heading in that direction next week, and potentially, if we can, head directly into Vegas that way, because if I can actually just, you know, bypass... Ooh, and there's a vault over in that direction, too. Yes, there is. Fine. I might see if we can do that. If we can't, I'll probably have to backtrack to uh, Good Springs and take the route over towards the NCR safe house via Black Mountain. We'll see which way works out for me next time, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd, and this has been Fallout New Vegas with Dust. Thank you very much, and goodbye. We've all learnt a valuable lesson here. When people have the zombie plague, don't allow them into confined spaces with you. We should just actually, like, use cannons. Do we have cannons? Use the cannons. Oh, they've got a big hammer. That's what the noise is. And a pirate's just rammed them. Okay, I think we're, we're in a traffic jam on the sea.